everyone, it's me. It is Saturday, like 11 or so. It's been a very rough 24 hours. Right? That's what it's been. Yeah. My husband's over About there. 36, yeah. 36 hours. Oh, yeah. So, at work yesterday, I did go into work, and I'm not sure exactly what happened, but all I remember is sitting in a chair and just feeling this warmness all over and shaking and dry mouth and spilling out words and stuff that I, I mean, I started talking about YouTube and started talking about the wristbands that I had been wearing at the moment and it was pretty scary. And, uh, my husband came and I ended up going to the hospital and I really couldn't tell you exactly everything about the hospital visit other than I was being difficult, I guess. And yeah, hold on. Oh, my husband's over there. Hello. I was not in. I was not in my right mind at all, and I was definitely overthinking stuff. Things were weird. I was, I remember watching a TV show called Reba and all these different characters that were on the show and all these things that were happening. I, it's like I was associating with life or whatever. And then at the hospital too, I remember every single doctor or nurse or whomever, it was like some sort of association with what I had been through in my past or or whatever um, and I kept I do remember I kept saying this is a test this is a test it's just a test and then every now and then I just stop and I bow my head I can't really remember everything but I guess it was pretty darn scary Kara and Pat were both with me and uh, I guess it was a result of Definite, definite overwork, stress, causing all the anxiety, and it was just a extreme anxiety attack, I guess. They did an EKG, and which I guess took them like 15, 20 minutes to try to get it done because I wouldn't sit, I wouldn't lay still, I wouldn't keep my arms still. I kept moving them all around and patting against my legs and it was weird at one time when I was laying in the hospital bed I honestly thought I was reliving the day we gave birth to Kaylee and there was another time I thought I was actually my mom and it was so bizarre and that I could hear the voices I heard out in the hallway I thought they were like all these different people from my past. So weird. So they gave me a, they force fed, <laughs> well, they gave, they took blood and they did a EKG and a CT scan. I may have already said that. And they kind of, they did prescribe some uh, Alta Ativan or Lorazepam whatever. Um, I just need to take one. Of course, I just, I will take it, like, before I go to bed, if needed. Well, I'll, I definitely will take it tonight. And I do remember taking them last night, and I was, like, out when I got, when they brought me home. So, anyway, the decision's been made to drop the Habitable World class because it's just way too much and I was trying to keep up with way too much and I was basically, I don't know, overworking myself and and I wasn't sleeping at night and I was overthinking, overthinking and so yeah, I don't have to do so much at one time. So anyway, my plan is to keep the English class and hope that I can, you know, still pull off an okay grade. As long as it's passing, it's okay. I'm grateful, grateful that I am here to talk about this. And 
And so are they. So tomorrow's Easter, Kaylee and John are coming over, and we're just going to hang out as a family. Take a chill. Take a chill. And Enjoy off. family. Yeah. And... Oh, and... And wait for puppies. And wait for puppies. Zoe, are you ready? Wait for puppies. I'm trying to manage this. Wait for There's puppies. Zoe. Oh. Zoe. <laughs> yeah. She's getting close. She actually is due tomorrow. So, anyway. I apparently don't know how to handle this all so well yet. Okay. That is it. Um... Thanks so much, guys, for all your concerns and everything and being supportive, and I truly, truly appreciate it. Peace. Bye.